The Mexican state of Tamaulipas is also fighting COVID-19 with a shelter-in-place order in effect. But health officials are now taking stronger measures and urging citizens to stay home. Channel 5's Yudi Gonzalez is live in McGowan with the details. Yudi. Michael, that's right. Now, these numbers keep changing. They get updated early morning and late at night. I'm seeing the real-time updated numbers. That's the number you just mentioned a few minutes ago. 261 positive cases, 28 recovered, and 9 deaths related to COVID-19. Now neighboring Mexican state, Tamaulipas is one step ahead of the government, adding more strict precautions against COVID-19 as they try to protect as many people possible in the border area. Health Secretary for the state of Tamaulipas, Dr. Gloria de Jesus Molina, talks about the measures they're making stricter. En realidad es intensificar las que ya teníamos. Tamaulipas currently a phase three. La fase tres eh, es cuando eh, los casos o el país o el estado presenta brotes regionales. More strict measures on social distancing, companies increasing sanitizing protocols, closing more non-essential businesses, shut down a business if an employee tests positive for COVID-19, and additional surveillance of who comes in and out of the cities. But now adding strategic checkpoints by state health agencies to verify reason of travel, many being stopped and returned. Estamos haciendo lo posible por retrasar o aplanar la curva como normalmente o como es más común mencionarlo para hacer que no entre en crisis el sistema de salud en Tamaulipas. They're also setting up backup plans. They've just added eight mobile clinics with 30 to 40 beds in multiple cities, saying the health system will be overwhelmed if they don't act fast. Those backup hospitals are still not being used. They're currently only using four COVID-19 hospitals in the cities of Reynosa, Capital Victoria, Altamira, and La Pesca, south of Tamaulipas. State Health Secretary also says there's a lot of false information out there, especially online. To get those updated numbers every day, you can also visit coronavirus.tamaulipas.gov.mx. In McAllen, Yuri Gonzalez, Channel 5 News this morning.